Today we're going to be making salad, turkey, and for dessert, Ezekiel bread. We're going to whip out some Shady Brook Farms turkey, only $5.54, not that bad. Throw it on the table, grab yourself a pan, can be any pan, and of course, some spray. So once you get a little bit of vegetable oil, of course, I like the, the brand name spray, it doesn't make a difference, you get a knife, I like my Psycho Killer knife, uh, and then you're going to go ahead and stab it right into the heart of the turkey. Uh, you know, you could just peel it back, but you know, that's boring. Why would I do that, right? You're going to tenderize that meat a little bit, rub it together right good, get some vegetable oil, put it on that pan. I went a little bit heavy on the vegetable oil, but that's okay. So slam down that turkey. That's good to go. And next, <laughs> you're going to put the setting on the oven to like seven or eight. We're going to be on the top uh, front burner. You can see that sucker light up. Give it like three to four minutes to really warm up. While that, does, while that warms, I, I like to take Mrs. Dash. Uh, this is just something to, to spice it up a little bit. These are typically fairly low in calories, and I like the Chipotle Southwest sauce. So three to five minutes on that front burner, uh, you're gonna see it cook a nice, slow grizzle. Mm, you can just get lost in that meat. And it's gonna go from this to that. So there you go, we've cooked our main meal. Now we're gonna move on to the salad. Again, I like my brand name stuff because it's cheaper. Uh, so I got a little bit of giant brand name salad, throw it on the table, get my condiments. Now I got nuts are fuel. I guess nuts are fuel. So I got some sunflower seeds, uh, some toppings, uh, very generic brand name stuff, probably like $5 for everything. And these little plastic containers now, these are kid sized containers. I'll put the link in the video description. They are great for meal prep. They've got little compartments. Uh, you're able to portion out your meal very well. They're awesome. So I'll put that link in the video description. So I put all my salad in the main compartment, sprinkle a little bit of sunflower seeds, get those healthy fats in there. I put a little bit much in there, but you know, I did leg day today, so it is what it is. I can expand some calories. And then of course, I put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on it. Be careful, don't go as heavy as I did. This is just for the video. I threw most of that away. Uh, and then finally, to top off your dessert, we have Ezekiel bread. My favorite carb, man. It keeps you from going crazy. And now it's not like your traditional wheat bread. Ezekiel bread is a healthier type of bread. Uh, it only stays good if it stays frozen. So every time you eat it, you have to heat it up in the microwave or you have to do it in the toaster. So I typically do one or two pieces, depending on how many carbs I've had that day. Heat it up in the microwave. Look at that shot. That guy must really, really care about his YouTube. Punch in about 45 seconds. You don't want to do too much longer than that. Otherwise, it gets really hard and stale and you can't eat it. It's like a brick. So 45 seconds is like the sweet spot for me. Uh, and then you just boom, time's over. Almond butter. This is what I put on the topping of it. It's amazing. It's kind of oily, got a weird consistency, but almond butter is so much better than peanut butter. It's got far less sugar. Uh, it's much healthier stuff inside of it. So I would say grab some almond butter. It's a little bit expensive. Throw it on top of that Ezekiel bread and boom, you got yourself a really nice dessert. So again, we have this delectable salad with all the fixings on it. We got turkey up in the top compartment, and on the bottom we got our balsamic vinegar that we're going to be dipping our stuff in. And then finally, to stay sane and carved up, we have our Ezekiel bread for dessert. Again, if you guys like this video, please, please, please thumb up, uh, recommend the channel to your friends, share it on social media, follow me on Instagram, at Clayton Philpo, and keep doing you. I will see you guys next time. Later.